going on you guys welcome back to another episode of toy 365 today we'll be taking a look at star wars the black series six since sabine ran from the new series um from the new wave let's go ahead go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box she is number 33 in the new wave you see it says sabine ren right there on the side of the box here you get a nice little artwork and a little quick read up of sabine ren if you want to read that you can go ahead and pause it right now she is number 33 on the back of the box you get some nice little uh, silhouette artwork right there and the same stuff we go to customs the scene on star wars the black series six inch figures and there she is right inside her box you see that she comes packaged with two blasters a uh, little uh, calm thing I think that's what it is a communication little thing a device and then you get her helmet right there so without any further ado let's go ahead and take a 360 view of her outside of her packaging all right you guys we can go ahead and take a 360 view of her outside of the packaging and you can see all the awesome paint work and paint application that she does have on this figure um, you see the nice little checker pattern she has right there on her shoulder pad then you see the nice little deco uh, deco right there you see on her shoulder pad the right little one um, she has some awesome awesome articulation it does kind of suck because she is a, a, a girl figure so they do have to make her kind of thin so it is a uh, kind of hurt, hurts her posability because uh, she can't really stand all that well with super skinny legs but I'm loving the paint detail they gave her because she is a paint artist an artist so she has all these paint markings and stuff on her legs and all throughout her figure so you see some nice little uh, splatter marks on this figure some pretty awesome stuff um, you get some pretty good articulation throughout the figure we can go ahead and talk about that when we get to the articulation side of the segment but from what you can see right here she is an awesome figure and comes with a lot of awesome accessories you see she gets two pistols she does have two trigger fingers on both her hands, single jointed elbows, and she also comes with this little calm thing. I think it's a communication thing, or if not, um, I think it is the, the hilt to the black saber, but I do not know. Don't quote me on that. I do not watch uh, Star Wars uh, The Rebels that much, so I do not know that much about the character or the figure. Or what came with the figure but we could go ahead and move on to the articulation side of this segment and get more hands-on uh, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories a little close up all right you guys here are all the accessories that do come inside of her box we could go ahead and take a closer look at that here is her helmet which is really really cool really cool removable helmet but this is an also a cool feature that was added onto this she has a little targeting sight right there that can come up and down nice articulation right there mine is pretty um I'm um, strong not really loose so that's pretty cool really like that that they kept that joint in there you can see the little detail in there little Mandalorian signs right there um, some really really good detail on this helmet I think that's some paint markings right there looks really really awesome you guys and um, moving on to the next one here we have these little blasters she has two of these come I really love the gun um, the paint the metal that the, the gun metal paint the metallic um, silver that they added to this gun looks really really awesome and the uh, little um, detail in their little carvings and everything looks really really nice go ahead and look at the other pistol have you guys already seen the last one same thing with the other one just really really good paint really stained um, really really nice I really like these guns couldn't use them a lot on other figures so I wouldn't mind getting some more guns like these these look really good and uh, last but not least, here you get, I think it is a communicator, or if not, the Black Saber, the hilt to the Black Saber. But if I do not know, don't quote me on that. But if you do know more about me about this thing, let me know down in the comments below because I do not know much about this. But this is the other accessory that does come packaged in her package. But let's get a little more hands-on with this figure and talk about the articulation and whatnot. She does have that um, single jointed elbows like I was talking about earlier. It's the same um, joint, el that same kind of joint that comes in the troopers. It's like a, just like that little, I don't know how to explain it, like a ball joint. Like it has like this little thing that just rolls in there. But I, uh, I don't really uh, mind that uh, joint at all. There's some people that don't really like that joint, but I really like it. It's really smooth and um, just flows really nice out the figure. But her arms do rotate all the way around. She does not have an upper thigh, an upper arm cut. Uh, she does rotate at the elbows, and she does have that single jointed elbows, like I told you. She does have wrist rotation, and she does not. Uh, oh yeah, she does bend down, so her wrist does bend down like that. That. 
flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist right there. And then uh, moving to the next arm. Her arm does swing all the way around. I'm really loving the detail right there. You do get in the shoulder pads. Really cool deco right deco right there. Same joint she has right there. No upper thigh, no upper arm cut. But her elbow, she does twist at the elbow. Also has articulation at the wrist. And this wrist bends uh, like that. Up and down. So she does have that. Look at this nice paint job right there. Looks really, really good. Like that. Paint splatter looks really, really nice. You can see the deco that she does have right there on her front chest plate. Looks really, really good right there. You see her articulation in her head. Her head does move that far down does look that far up you get some pretty good uh, paint detail in there not the best but for a $20 figure pretty pretty good pretty damn good and they did this girl justice like most girl faces they do now come out looking like shit no lie but this one Hasbro uh, actually came out this face sculpt came out really really nice some decent paint on here <sighs> had this looking really 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 nice but yeah, there you go, the back of the figure. Then you get these two little holsters right here. Don't really hinder the articulation at all because they bend out really easy. So her leg does kick far that, that far up. Her leg does not move back really at all. That's the farthest it moves back. Then you get ankle pivot. You got, you got some nice ankle pivot in there. Her foot does move up and does move that far back. So it moves back really, really, really far, but not doesn't move up the most because you get a little hindering from this little plastic that's right here. But here you can see more of the paint applications that she has right here. It has some really nice splatter right there. She does have upper thigh cut. And she does have double jointed knees. So that looks really nice. And she has these little knee pad things right here. So I'm not going to show you the other leg because it is all the same as the other one. But she does have really good articulation, you guys. Like, it's a pretty good figure for a female character, especially because I don't know what it is, dude. Female characters don't get all the love that that male characters do. They don't they don't put the time and work in. I don't think that they put all the effort into making the best female characters because I don't think that Hasbro really thinks like, oh these things are gonna fly off the shelf for sale so they, they just put them out there for the fans or whatever the people that want them and ask for them all the time so they just finally do it because they want to please the masses but thank you guys so much for watching my star wars the black series review if you guys have any comments or questions go ahead and let me know down in the comments below and if you want to see any other star wars the black series six inch figures reviewed go ahead and let me know down in the comments also and if you guys just want to talk about any star wars stuff or anything just Hit me up down in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, add, subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Later, you guys. What's going on, you guys? You just got done watching my toy review of the Black Series 6 inch Sabine Wren. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this far. If you've gotten this far through my video, thank you guys so much for loving my content. Thank you guys so much for liking and supporting me through this far, like this long. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Um, if you guys want to see any other Star Wars The Black Series figures reviewed, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Or if you want to see any Marvel Legends, any Funko Pops, any new figures that I get in my toy hunts, just let me know you guys want to see reviewed. Just let me know whenever I go hunting for it or whenever I find it. Just let me know what you guys want to see because sometimes I don't really know what uh, I want to review or whatever. Sometimes I have trouble picking and stuff. So I just try to pick out what's the newest stuff that's out or whatever. So thank you guys so much for sticking through this long. And thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing on my stuff. And as always, later you guys. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I wonder if there's people that stick through this long like. For real like there's people that watch the video like to this part of the video or that are still here right now that's pretty trippy like if you're still here you're crazy man you're crazy I still got 30 seconds of screen time so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of this so Huge shout outs to um, to the syndicate group. Huge shout outs to everybody. Huge shout outs to George the Plastic Addict. He's been growing. Uh, huge shout outs to you, bro. If you're watching right now, <laughs> what's up? And huge shout out to the syndicate homies. You guys are awesome, bro. Thank you guys for all the support, all the love. You guys are the greatest. 
I'm really gra I'm really glad and blessed that I am in this group and awesome people to be a part of and awesome thing to be a part of and I only have five seconds later so I only have five seconds left so later you guys The new Black Series Wave. If you could take a look, she is number 33. Oh, blah, 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 blah. The worst fucking start off ever. Right there. And you can see on the back of the box. Uh, no, I'm not going to use that one. It was a good one, but that's not how I'm going to start it off.